it's giving i'm trying he just came back from vacation like let's just kind of like enjoy the moment but the vlogs are going down the channel so here it is But I can't. Oh, what's going on? Um, I am really sorry to come on camera with this dry ass energy. I have been editing a lot lately, and I'm noticing that in the morning, um, I really be in a funk. However, this is like after work. And I am just going to be real with you. <sighs> My hair. I am having a horrible fucking day. I'm going to try not to cry on camera because whoa. And I tell you. It's like back to back to back. I had to send a very hard email at work today. <sighs> I was put in so many challenging predicament since 5 a.m. The minute I woke up, all I can say is right now, like, I mean, I don't know how to word this to y'all, but kind of like over the phase of my life where it's like giving struggle, you know? Without even saying details, but do you get exactly what I mean? Because I feel like y'all do. <sighs> And I'm sad because this is the vlog after the cruise, you know? And y'all saw it was so much fun and I'm just trying to work on like my, I guess, tolerance level to tough situations, which it's like, we're all, we are not perfect, you are not perfect. If you are gonna sit here and tell me that you are able to handle every situation with ease oh you're lying but it's like it's like a feeling you get when you're like why is this still an issue for me you know what i'm saying that's how i'm feeling right now um i don't know okay at least my bun is cute but it's like, uh, life was just super hectic. Let's just say that much. And I'm just ready. I'm ready and I'm not trying to bother or bore y'all to death with the. Because honestly, even sometimes I'm like editing. So I review my footage and I'm like, damn. I'm bored. Like, you are depressed as fuck. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what to say, but I want to vlog so obviously, because it brings me happiness. But what doesn't make me happy is looking at a vlog where I'm like, <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, um, you know, and like I'm editing right now the vlog where like I got this new camera, and I'm just taking myself back to that time. Like, wow, so happy. So full of joy, so full of future, excitement. And it's like, girl, I don't know. I'm like, you just came back from vacation. Like, let's just kind of like enjoy the moment. But 
you can be you can be real with me right now and tell me <sighs> no, I'm crying. nothing is more fucking frustrating than when you're trying every day every day every day and it's always something it's always something and i'm not gonna lie i'm haven't been this angry in a while and i mean every day not just a little oh i'm upset no like frustrated like furious i almost cried multiple times at work today i just hate the certain situations that arise people overstepping boundaries like shit like that just irks me but i'm trying to be positive okay happy monday as you saw i journaled and i still worked out even though there was a predicament that almost stopped me from doing that this morning which frustrated like tears of anger and that was my goal i was like okay i'm coming back from the cruise we're gonna go back to the health journey <laughs> back to the health journey and oh yeah i forgot i got a tan hello i'm like we're gonna go back to the health journey oh this is like kind of yellow Ooh, we don't get any mad on um yeah i was like i'm gonna go back to my fitness and health journey we're gonna push ourselves this time really like the reality is on the vacation the one thing i was excited to do more than editing was go back to my fitness journey and that to me says a lot about how far i've come and i was not going to allow myself to feel that and let it pass by no we're gonna take action so this morning some bullshit happened and i couldn't go to the gym and i was like oh my fucking god my face was, i was like <laughs> the foundation looks crazy i told you worst day ever why is this happening <laughs> oh my god hello i better be able to fix this i'm like looking here on the side bear with me okay it it's after work i'm getting ready to go out with my cousin it's her birthday today she's 19 she's a big girl and cousins on the way to embarrass her with this foundation um but yeah i just wanted to kind of like i don't know what motivation is even going to come out of that so usually it, sometimes i do have something to say kind of like the great news is or on the other side or whatever the fuck but you know what i'm saying it's like if i could have gave myself advice if i could be 19 all over again i would prepare my future a little bit better now i heard what i heard people say that to me but oh i'm looking like a bald eagle when i've heard people say this to me but you don't know what something is sometimes until you experience it um so yeah i don't know how to say it has been a very hard week but here's a silver, silver lining i did work out today i might have cried a little bit in between sets but i got it done i actually was so annoyed to the point where i push myself to do a workout that i don't like i don't can't explain the psychology behind that i did burpees i did shoulder tap those things are hard for me to do my neck does not match my face oh i don't know and basically my apple watch was like you succeeded so and so the first time ever i used a new cardio hit goal and i was like what the fuck i'm talking about <laughs> you know so it's like despite the bullshit i try to show up for myself um and i went to work on time you saw me the, this morning you saw i was honestly having a horrible morning but i was plowing through trying to be positive applying myself trying to have a good day work was like i told you and i just kept getting bad news all day throughout work and i was like mm. But yeah other than that yes i was so happy about my workout i journaled i actually am so excited to share this with you guys so yes i'm going on a new health journey kind of like a reset um i do need to weigh myself and 
measure some things, but I don't know if it's going to make my day worse. Like the last straw. But it's like also, I think a big part of going on a health journey is you have to be raw and real. Like real as fuck with yourself. Oh. Guys, can I just let you know right now, this camera is not meant for makeup, okay? So don't be judging my fucking makeup on this clip. It's the lighting, okay? Don't be rude. But anyways, um, you have to be, like, brutally honest with yourself because that's the reality. Like, some things cannot be sugar-coated. So if I have to get on a scale today and I don't like what I see, that's the reality, though. You know what I'm saying? Um, again, like all the other times, I might not be as vocal about the journey, obviously, because it's something that is personal to me. But I do like to share my wins and, you know, things that I find are awesome to share. But basically, um, so I realized. No, I actually... I don't know how the makeup looks on camera. Hold on. I don't think I changed anything. But anyways. Um, I need to set this on say too. Because I'm sweating. I think I already talked about this. The protein. Okay. I basically, long story short, there is a few things within a health journey that I have not tried. Things that seem very like, okay, not that deep, not that serious. We didn't know how serious protein intake was till today embarrassing to say the least um let's just say my biggest issue right now is appetite and reducing appetite why was a one glass of protein shake that you saw this morning made all the difference um hello because i eat a lot of fiber like don't even get me wrong with that but I don't eat a lot of protein. I don't. I'll be honest with you. I don't. I don't care for it. I'm like, it's not that deep. I thought fiber was more of what you need to, you know, but it looks like. Maybe for some people it is. But for me, fiber really is like whatever. But I'm sorry. I'm looking like a little greasy piece of bacon. That was my sentence right. But yeah i went on to say i took my glass and i have been full literally ever since um and actually i know this might sound toxic what i'm about to say but i think i'm just gonna skip it no excuse me not yet mm -mm. i'm gonna um just do the whole weighing and stuff um not on camera but like after this to sorry talk let me flex i'm gonna do it to get real with myself and since i'm going out tonight with my cousin for her birthday lifestyle change girl we have to make conscious decisions you know what i'm saying and y'all see me at the gym all the time y'all see me doing my thing but i can admit i can be an adult and mature and say some changes can be made so me and my greasy face are gonna try one more time um to just get this right again this is not your space for unsolicited health health advice weight loss advice weight gain advice. i don't want to hear it um if i inquire i will let you know i will say hey i need help with this what i will inquire about is and don't give me your answer and then start throwing other bullshit in there i'm so serious like i hate anyways how do you get protein in your meals? Comment down below. And don't tell me eggs, beef. I need like some creativity. I hate eating animals, to be honest. I try, but that's why I was vegan for two years. Um, I don't know if I ever said that on my channel. And I was a vegan. I was just not consuming animals, meats. Meat or, was I eating fish? Barely. <clears throat> I was eating eggs. So 
that's why I say vegan because people be like that is not fucking vegan you were eating milk eggs cheese see what I'm saying so yeah let's just say you know and that didn't work for me it made me gain weight <laughs> which was like frustrating but anyways I'm going on a rant now but yes I'm getting ready for dinner tonight gonna do that gonna check my to-do list for the rest of the day charge the camera charge my phone i will see if brianna wants to film she is a avid zanji does watch her shout out to her a fucking real one mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she hits me up like girl when you was putting that shit in your backpack i was dying and i'm like bitch period because i was dying too because i was <laughs> But basically today, um, I just feel so much better after talking to the camera. Even though my makeup probably looks ridiculous, promise you it doesn't look bad in person. I'm trying to fix the lighting with my new skin color, my new tan, and the room lighting, and everything. If the room looks messy, it's not. I'm also trying to get comfortable and adjusted to this camera being so wide lens and having all of my fucking business. Um... <coughs> trying to save up to buy a house bear with me but i'm gonna go get ready and continue the night and i would love to bring all that with me so listen bear with me with the lighting the ac is on but right now let's really discuss this fit is kind of cute and just to the scale only five pounds Okay, that's nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna go and charge this for a little bit until she pulls up. So, so we're at dinner. Can you put this camera down so we can ask her for some tea first? Like, we're at dinner. Okay, well, I want a life update. Say hi. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know some Brianna is a vivid watcher? What? Dinner. Is it for hi guys. Testing. Good anyway. night. So, it's Brianna's birthday today, but because she don't want to get some attention, today's Sophia's birthday. So, we're waiting. Right, Brianna? To celebrate Sophia. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is that right, my little egg? <laughs> oh. Wow. Where's her mother? Who is her mother? Friend. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I'm reviewing my work. Mm -hmm. We got Miss Girlie here on the bed, hanging out. <laughs> I said, hold on, uh, recording with cousins and shit. What's wrong with that? Like, like, oh. What's wrong with that? See, see, see my podcast with my cousin. What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> What? It's not shop. You used to do that. Yes, you did. What's up, story? Whatever. I so we're like, all I want to lay on me hand. Like, I, I, no, yeah. I stopped that. Oh. <laughs> Oh,
Think about shit that I should have done. So I tell him it's one of me. He making fun of me. His girl is a bum to me. Like that boy is a cap. He ain't he home, but I know where he at. Like, but he blowing her back. Think about me, cause he know that it's fat. And it been what it been. Pulling his phone like he'll send me a pen. Duck in my shit, cause he know what I'm on. But when he hit me, I'm not gonna respond. But I don't sleep enough without you. And I can't eat enough without you. If you don't speak, does that mean we're through? Don't like sneaky shit that you do. Say hi, Pookie. Ah. Say hi. Hi, vlog. Oh, see, I'm hungry and I'm pretending I like you. Say hi, Pookie. It's a muffin lady. Look at muffin. I'm trying to get it, but it is like... Hey, so, a few things. Getting mess, getting messy, getting crowded. Listen, I'm trying to find a way to film these without y'all seeing the reality behind. But the reality is... Just because you work from home does not mean you got time to do what you need to do. Anyways, oop. Yeah. Um, yes, today's Thursday. I've had work today. I'm feeling a little bit better about my situations, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking at my hair on this and it's giving like grown out, grown out hair dye. But not really because I told her to make it look a certain way so it might just be how it seems to me and I also need to stop coming on this camera looking a damn mess but the blocks are going down the channel so here it is but I wanted to check in with you guys very briefly um it's not much to show today and I feel like this vlog sucks but basically for today you saw I did a workout this morning it's giving that moving forward um it's really like we have to dive deep into the process of getting a car at this point so no means to really get to the gym as of right now um maybe on the weekends but i really 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 hate working on the weekends um i am trying like new health goals new health remedies right now not remedy but objective goals and I'm seeing some progress. It's, I'm doing some things that I've never done before. So I'm very excited to like kind of talk about it, but not really. Um, as in kind of talk about it this. Okay. So I'm seeing progress and I'm going to keep going at my comfort. Push myself to do good. Things of that nature. Um, I'm also just dealing with a very transformative a season of my life once again. Welcome to my world. This happens like once a month. <laughs> but um all in all to say yeah so we are gonna continue to be encouraged not stop by our fitness journey and yeah work out from home and that should be totally fine um i should step out of my comfort zone work out on the weekends take two days off in the week type of thing um but all in all to say i have an amazon order that i just want to open with y'all because i just really like doing that for whatever reason one and two it's that time of the year where you gotta re-up on basic ass things like i ran out of the melatonin gummies i needed wipes for makeup just things like that i just want to show you what i what the girls be using it's still fresh after vacation but guys skin peeling ew literally last night i look over and i see all that white flaky skin and i was like so i try to peel it y'all why did it sound like orange being peeled yeah it sounded like that and it was like ew so with all that being said I, oh, oh we got three things i got some vitamins here we've talked about that enough so i don't think i need to show you a part of my fitness journey has been consuming way more protein i don't fucking consume protein at all like barely um 
and i just think it's so like please don't even be rude don't come for me this is for the girls that get it where you're on a fitness journey and you let's say you google something that you think is not even that deep i like to get my eggs with some cheese on it sometimes okay and i'm like oh cheddar cheese like what could be wrong about that do you know how much calories cheddar cheese has a little bit of it that shit pissed me off when i go i'm not even gonna like trigger y'all or say anything but I googled it and I was like that's so fucking frustrating but the reality is um and I've said on the vlog before if I don't care if I like the healthy shit I'm just have to eat the healthy shit to get to my goal because one thing about me is I can maintain a certain weight it's the losing that's hard and the gaining is easy because once I gain it I can stay there for a year or two but then things happen you know what I'm saying so we're on the reverse path right now to losing and maintaining but i don't consume protein period so my issue has been like i'm always fucking hungry no matter what and i found that when i drank one cup of or whatever amount of it of this it is in the morning with my breakfast and then i'm full all day till dinner and i dinner time i have my dinner with a cup of this hello you know what i'm saying so i was like i'm researched everything protein does be tasting nasty but my boyfriend got this for himself and then he is lactose intolerant so he was like you can have it and i just never used it but it's not expired but it's good and this is 25 grams of protein per serving so two servings of that gives something and obviously I eat protein in my meals, but it's just not enough. But I think with those two servings of it, it's enough. You know what I'm saying? So I was running out of it. So I got this one, try something new, become that, that girl on oh my fitness plan, don't play. And then I heard protein helps you get muscles or helps it. Like, please don't even come for me. I don't know how to word this stuff, okay? But I'm so fucking excited. All I'm just excited to see is I'm going to eat healthy for a bit. And it's making my butt look good. That's all I'm here for. So I hope it's good. Um, and yeah, I just have to make the transition into changing my milk type because I don't have, don't care about almond milk, don't care about oat milk, don't care about those. The other ones, cashew's okay. The other ones are, why does it look like there's literally Fruity Pebbles on there? Is it though? Because that should look like little pieces of plastic. I'm concerned. Is that edible? Y'all, can y'all see that? Can y'all see the, sh the shininess on that? Um, no way. Is that edible? Why is it like... Edible glitter is crazy. But okay. But yeah, I'm excited. Um, it doesn't taste bad, but it's like, okay, cool. There you have it super excited what else oh got have some my usual allergy stuff you know what i'm saying and then we got some makeup wipes um i used to just get the baby wipes unscented the ones that you can't even flush so i was just putting them in the trash but i'm tired of just i don't care i'm just gonna get the flushable ones so I got these um this has a touch of aloe and vitamin e i hope this is gonna be good for my skin that's not i need to write makeup on these or else people will use it for their ass and no yeah guys we have just a few things here and tomorrow i think we have the rest of our order coming so i'll just honestly re-upping on things i need hair gel nothing exciting but i'll just show you anyway Bye. It's giving Friday. It's giving tired. It's giving out of work. It's giving depression. It's giving not excited for the weekend. It's giving my leg is ashy as fuck. It's giving horrible vlog. It's giving I'm trying. It's giving I'm taking a nap. It's giving maybe you won't see me for the rest of today. It's giving I'm apologizing in advance. It's giving I don't know what I'm doing this weekend. It's giving this vlog might be too weeks and what it's giving editing it's giving 
working on my website over the weekend. It's giving a lot of things right now. I'm going to bed. I know you just see me, but I'm going to fuck to bed. It's giving my hair's already done. Oh, please don't even look. It's giving, yeah. I'm gonna... I don't like being negative on camera anymore. So I'm gonna take a nap. Just got over. I'm gonna take a nap and edit. Do my hair. I wanna insert clips of that. I'm gonna cook a Hello Fresh. I'll try to insert clips of that. And yeah, sorry y'all. I'm really it's giving negativity. So I'll be looking a mess. Good morning. Um, it's Saturday. As you saw yesterday, it was like very weird. Um, I didn't me remember to put in a clip here. But yes, that's what happened yesterday. Basically, we had a little going away party for the grandparents that come from the Caribbean. That being said, a lot of people showed up unexpectedly. We all hung out. That kind of put me in better spirits, but today, today's giving a lot of self-care because I'm looking a damn mess and I can't even see the full video because y'all know my viewfinder is tiny. There, y'all know my viewfinder is tiny. Let me just flip it, hold on. I mean, that's just gonna have to work, you guys. <laughs> Because I'm using the mirror. You know what I'm saying? But today's giving self care. Today's giving um, self care, editing, all of that. I actually need to finish uploading my videos. I've been on a roll. I'm very proud of myself. And yeah, so I'm going to just shave my face today, do eyebrows, probably give myself some little breaks, honestly, because I'm like a little protective style because I'm just. You see it. You you see it. I'm like, I've been wearing a button all week. I'm exhausted. I deserve. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just preparing to shave my face. Um, I don't really I like to put a little bit of rose hip. Y'all can even see. I have a little bit of rose hip on the face so that I'm not cutting myself. Everything is gliding through. Etc. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I have anything to say. Yeah, I'm sorry if this vlog is like giving dry. Um, but is there anything coming up? We have a SZA concert this month. Drake and SZA just dropped a song together. I haven't heard it honestly, and I'm shocked because I'd be the first one to, you know. It's kind of starting to get into like fall weather. Which is exciting. I'm a summer baby, but I love fall. I love fall. Mm -hmm. When I shave my face, I keep a baby wipe. I've done this in videos before, I think. Or maybe I just showed you, but I fast forwarded. But, um, so we have this end of my brow here. Very tricky to work with. And right now we have a very good shape going on. And I don't want to mess that up. Also, if you notice, when I do my brows, I kind of like lift them up because standalone, they're kind of just like, there's no shape. But when I go like this, I can really map out what I need to get and what I need to leave. So, yeah, this brow is like my struggle brow sometimes. And it's just my genetics to be each. So sometimes I need to cut the end. Sometimes I don't. I think I could get away with a little trim today. I don't know if y'all could even see it on the camera, but honestly, this whole week after work, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've literally gone to take a nap after work. And that's not good because it does, you know camera doing this because I feel like I'm messing it up by accident. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Okay, anyways, um, and then the rest of my brows is just me shaving, 
with my bank. Face razor, if you will, if I can find it. Hold up. I'll keep it on the camera because I'm kind of just kind of fast forward. But yeah, so for the rest of today, doing braids, I'll show you a little bit of that. Um, we're staying home all day to be to be age. I may make that hello fresh. I didn't make it yesterday because everybody came over. Um, and I still haven't had my first meal of the day. It's like 1 p.m. And so we are gonna be home, edit, braids, do a hairstyle, um, do a lot of computer work, and then tomorrow we are gonna go to the gun range. Um, my friend is supposed to be joining us too, but it's gonna be a lot of like family slash friends. And usually after that we kind of go out to eat, and that's just like a little Sunday plan. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and shave my face you know what we need to start doing is like do you guys see the stuff on my head for it we need to start watching a show together because honestly all i watch are youtubers i'm not gonna lie so i mean yeah okay do you guys see what i mean like um, the rest of my eyebrow i'm just kind of like trimming around it mm-hmm mm-hmm also, I love to shave my face because I feel like it just makes my face look cleaner, lets my makeup apply smoother, and definitely needed. And that's like a mixture of dead skin, um, peach fuzz. It's extremely harmless, but I just think you need to be good with your angles and your aim. So you don't hurt yourself. I definitely cut myself here and there. But yeah. Um guys, I'm so excited the um I feel like Alanized, the YouTuber Alanized is somebody that is mainstream but in the Latino community. Last night he posted a and so he has a series like a Metro Lip in the Hada series, so it's like a kind of like a talk show, which I love because it King One only be so like it's really giving that. I'm like, he's really good at what he does. So, um, he'll interview YouTubers or creatives, right? And last night he interviewed Nazanin Kabari, and I was like, my two favorite worlds colliding, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like. I actually just want to say I love getting on YouTube as a 26 year old woman and seeing these young people flourish, flourish so early on in their career yeah um, Monet McMichael Nazanin you know I love watching them and like you know it's like yes some people always have the argument like <clears throat> i can't relate to them anymore so i don't watch them anymore okay sure that's fine i understand that like nazanin has literally three kids and she's younger than me but these people are our friends you guys and i think that's where it's like that's where the distinction needs to come in and I feel like you'd be a little less disappointed. Granted, you might meet them, you might, if you're in the creative space, you might end up networking with these people one day. Maybe, no guarantee. But um, network, internal friendship, whatever it is. But you have to understand, people that post their lives online, they like to do it. I hopefully hope, but that's what it seems like. And they also need income. And while wow, these people do their real jobs and their life becomes a real job. So it's like, yes, after a while, Nazanin Kabari is no longer that small town girl from Columbus, Ohio, I think it is. After a while, Monet is not that girl from New Jersey or wherever she was. Like, you know what I'm saying? And you'll be like, oh, you touch money and you don't know how to act. And it's like, these people are not your fucking friends. Would it be nice to be their friend? Probably, like, having a friend crush is normal. And I think people don't have the word for it or talk about it often. But 
I think what y'all develop is a friend crush and I have developed some too in the past. But when you mature a little bit more and realize like, uh, it's probably not going to happen or, you know, this isn't really like a common thing to feel or do, you kind of move on with your life. You know what I'm saying? And you just say, I'm supportive of your work. I'm supportive of you as a person from afar. I appreciate the creativity you bring to the social media space. Like, you need to be able to create that distinction. And I feel like a lot of people, especially the ones that get, like, disappointed and say, mm, my faith changed, um, this and that. <clears throat> like, for me, it happened with, like, Justin Bieber. It was kind of like, oh, this man is, like, whoa like completely different world than mine um like you have to understand and on another note along with seeing young creative flourish i um i'm not what i'm trying to say is i personify these people not in a way of like my friend is doing good but more like somebody who has decided to share their journey online is literally flourishing and we get the opportunity to see a person who used to be very normal and I guess normal in the way of like um, <clears throat> used to live a lifestyle we as watchers probably live and they probably still do sometimes here and there um, we get the chance to see that and celebrate for somebody we don't know and that's just all it is um, but I want to also add do you have a cat? get in Hurry up. The last thing I want to say is I also like how Aaliyah's face also provides that, and Jackie, I know, provides that same situation about that I said, like, younger creatives, you get to see them succeed, and then you also get to see somebody who's a bit older, because there's, like, a stigma around women that if you don't reach success around a certain young age, if you don't reach family, marriage, things like that around a certain young age, that you are less than or you're never going to succeed past that moment and it's like I feel like Aaliyah's face and Jackie Anna really show like mm -mm, mm -mm, you know what I'm saying so <clears throat> comparing not that I want to but let's say comparing Nazanin Kalari's life with Aaliyah's face's life do you see how different these people are and the roles could be reversed People would think that Nazanin is too young for her lifestyle. Or some people would think Aaliyah is too old for her lifestyle. But the, the point is, I don't I don't feel it that way about either. But for me, it's like, I love that at the end of the day, these people online are being who they are and celebrating that and teaching other young women to be themselves, to pursue whatever they want to pursue, accessing gratitude for the support that they get online, things like that, for their job existing um so that was just a little rant of <clears throat> i don't know like when i watch them i love to tune in because one they're funny in their own ways or two it's like hey i get to watch someone be a boss bitch and get inspired get a little inspiration for them get a little push a little drive of course is it my only source of drive or motivation no you know what I'm saying? And that's the problem. I'm cutting my candle. Um, the little wick or whatever. That's the problem is y'all have to understand at the end of the day, you can watch people online all day. At the end of the day, it's your uh, chance, not opportunity, but it's your duty to create your personal life, your future life, your future goals. You can't sit all day watching vlogs and then like, oh, I wish my vlogs would pop off like hers. You're not editing, you're not posting. And I feel like Aaliyah's face more specifically, she be dropping tips, help every time there's a video. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like, you guys need to use your resources. Stop focusing so much on the entertainment of people in your field if you're pursuing creativity and put yourself in there do the work um very rarely 
do people use their pretty privilege to get sub 50,000 subscribers with one video and it does happen but not often so all that to say happy Saturday I'm starving I'm thirsty I want to do my hair and um, I need to upload this YouTube video so But I just want to tell y'all real quick if y'all can hear me I'm watching the interview we are gonna go to my boyfriend's cousins real quick to say hello and then um, after that we are gonna visit my parents and my siblings and you know they love a good camera time we're gonna have a good job so yeah just want to tell you that it's probably going to be with us tonight. Hang out, have drinks, do a little computer work, gossip with my siblings, you know. So, she should be in the clear, baby. Fuck that. Peek cannot. Trying to see what's going on here. Good evening. All right, y'all. It's still Sunday. I'm in a much better mood. I think I just need to accept that I wake up in the morning like a fucking bitch. We're gonna make dinner. We're gonna make Hello Fresh. We're gonna make pasta. Oh, pasta primavera. Something cute, something small, something light. We'll just make a little dinner together and put the lighting on that thing. This has peas in it. Do you want any? Pasta Primavera. You don't want peas? No. Do you want me to air fry your chicken? I'll just eat it with my chicken strips. Perfect. All right, bye. That's what you call teamwork. That's what you call, what's it called? What's that? It's a big word in relationships. It starts with a C. So you're making Pasta Primavera. This is lemon parm. Parmesan sauce, bell pepper, zucchini, and peas. It has no meat in it. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. And honestly, when I'm first supposed to roast something, sometimes I air fry because it's really the same thing. Okay, because I'm a hella fresh fiend. Okay, we got green onion or scallion. We got our peas. It's not really that many, but we have our cream sauce, which I love their little cream sauce. It's like parmesan. Our veggies. They always have like the best veggies. Let's really discuss. Pasta, this little serving. Um, what is this? Oh, the zucchini. We have pookie. Hi, pookie. And then we've got Tuscan heat spice, which I'm gonna be gen generous, gentle, careful. <coughs> Can I talk? Um, this is crema fraiche, creme fraiche. It must be creme fraiche. And veggie, and then honestly, hello fresh. I know I just said sponsor, but listen, sometimes I like to add a little goya, and that's okay. But sometimes it doesn't need it, so you know. Saturday. So yesterday. Is there a problem? Gosh darn it. I was like, ugh, I don't really feel like it. Oh, look at Pookie. She always has a shit. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. I'm going to walk away watching the video. Recording.
just wanted to show y'all you see i roasted it in the air fryer same thing honestly in my opinion this camera really sucks at showing food like it makes it look gross but that's for this man this looks like an exaggerated amount of peas because y'all heard the conversation but um i wanted to make mine mostly peas you know for health reasons there's dinner um probably going to prepare for monday Let's see we got some I love me some peas, bitch. This has me dead. And I gave me so much pasta and look. There is so much shit in here. Sorry for the darkness, but um I will say this is Zanzi you does see I posted on the screen right here. It did not do as good. And I'm starting to think, because you know I'm in a place of like trying to figure out my niche and stuff. I'm wondering if like we gotta let her go. And bring her back. We have like audience. Because the effort doesn't seem to be worth the reward. Um, though I love the series, but it's 20 episodes in, you know, submissions. It's like, you know what I'm saying? I think it was like an early release kind of thing, and it would do much better in a different time, a different part of my YouTube journey. So I think I'll let her go. She'll be back because I love her. But I think she'll go. I think I could stick to hair vlog, vlog hair, vlog podcast hair. Cause we Zanji does chat, Zanji does see, Zanji does chat hair video and vlog. But now it's vlog hair video, Zanji does chat. Um, and <clears throat> my vlogs are doing better than my hair videos, and I put a lot of effort into the hair ones, so. Mm, it's really about like I know I'm a creative person I know that all of those videos I mean I'm not gonna toot my own horn there's probably some that were like fucking horrible but if people are most entertained by something um for my research they're saying to tap into that and just go from there um but I feel like uh, Pookie is just like doing cartwheels let me call her father watch but yeah, like I was saying, um, it's not goodbye forever, but I think it's, you have to be smart and know, you know, I have to be. Hello? Pookie wants to go outside. Do you give her permission? No. Keep her ass right inside. Hey, right, bye. <laughs> yeah, Pookie, she be tussling outside in the night. Her eye got cut the other like it was ridiculous like she's too old for all that but yeah like i was saying um it's okay to let some things go you know and then come back to them later i have a business that i'm really sad and reluctant to let go but it might be time but i, I want to try one more time um but yeah so if you see mostly vlogs um the the podcast does since you just chat does really good outside of youtube i don't know why like spotify and apple music i have no idea um but you know there's people waiting I'm trying to like do those again but um in the creative space a lot is like trial and error okay and all you can do is just show for attendance every day do your part see what is getting the people going um people that have it's a luxury to put out content and not have to follow trends okay that means that you're already noticed you don't have to you know and not saying you gotta be a sellout and there's people that do the most and then there's other people that kind of follow suit you hop in line um but then what what remains is your personality you get me so when you follow a trend but now you're acting like other people from the trend that's where people forget you you know and one thing about me is um <clears throat> though i cringe if like family watches me and stuff it's just because i don't know i'm not comfortable with it but it's just still me i'm i'm just being myself um but i think it's just funny because they probably know i'm talking to my camera 
when they're not around. And I think that's funny because I'm like incognito. Like, anyways, hi, hi guys, welcome to my vlog. Because that's what it feels like. But you know, it just comes with confidence and time, practice, or whatever. But as you can see, I'm like working on it. Um, talking in front of a camera by yourself is easy. The hard part is doing it in front of family and friends and watching the footage back with them. Oh, please. I'm, I'm just cringe. But, anyways, um, <laughs> I'll get over it eventually. But yeah, dinner is done. It's Sunday. I'm in a much better mood. Thank you for watching when I have an attitude because I hate it. Like, I'm trying to work on it. Um, but I'm probably going to clean the room journal to really let out my emotions so it's like when i wake up cranky like that i need to like jot it down get it out get it out um and i wanted to just sit in my bed and lounge um i don't give myself a lot of grace or time to lounge honestly like and that's something that i gotta like get over too that's just like not trauma but like what you grow up like we were taught if you're bored then you can go do some chores like there's there's no no time to be bored basically and on the other hand you know other people have learned like when you need a rest you can rest and things like that so um i was like it's just like installed in me like there's always something to do so um i'm trying to kind of give myself more grace but there is things to do i have goals i don't want to reach so to do that i do have to hustle and i do have to um tap into that mentality i am in the phase of life of like figuring out what works what's not what's good for my mental health what's not and i think especially vlogging right now at this phase of my life is very interesting because i get to see my growth but i also get to see where i can fix things and where things need could stay the same you know so um I'm really also tapping into this era of my life of like not changing the plan so early on. Um, I've come to realize as I'm 26 now that I just, it's really given like, okay, three tries and you're done. Try something else. But I have to be consistent for a while. I'm consistent for a small amount of time and then I just change my plan. There's people that are consistent and they give up no i'm consistent i don't give up i just changed the plan girl that's basically the same thing i wanted to say thank you guys and i'm really in like a place of learning right now and just trying to be a big grown woman okay and i'm um, trying to just let go of some habits and adapt new ones as i exit the second decade of my life right i suck at math i told y'all this already but um, let me clean up and get the fuck going. What time is it? Yeah, 8 p.m. Oh, it's 8 p.m. Bye. <laughs>